Well, hello there. This is Super Anti Guy. Getting started on the next area. Uh, it's still in the same area. Next level. The Sunken Ruins. Let's get this truck on the road. So my intro, you may have seen the Lavender Town music. That was made by my good friend in real life. Uh, he goes by the name of Toolburger on YouTube. Seems to be going a little bit slow here. Yeah, you should check him out. He makes funny videos. Where he plays games. So, it's kind of like the explode though. So, yeah. Break those walls and skeletons attack. From both sides of the screen. Just like usual. Not arms at all or anything. But I mean, they are skeletons. They don't need the arms. They're pretty badass. I mean, I wouldn't want to fight a skeleton if I've seen one. If I see one, I just run away. I don't care if it's got a weapon or not. You know, what, let's check out what's over here. There's some water. Whoa layer boss. Watch out for that water up ahead. Normally your drill those who can't go in the water. But if I install some special equipment, you should be able to go under water. Why don't you wait until you're equipped with the right stuff, eh? Will do. Hey look, old people. Diamond. Diamond. Where is the diamond? The diamond it calls to me. The diamond is the fountain of youth. Ah, to experience youth again. Tee hee hee hee. Hey now, it's that annoying little girl from the red dozers. Yes, yes, the treasure is ours. Alright. Looks like they got that equipment to go underwater. You can block those bullets with the uh, drill. I'll show you that next time they come out of the water. Hmm. They get pissed off when you undrill it. Men, both of those old women have questionable hair colors. Alright. How's that for special equipment? Hey, it's a pair of crazy lady thieves. They must have found this treasure in the ruins. That's how the stealing business goes. We'll just steal it back. But it looks like they left us a nice little gift. Try using your propeller to move through the water. Just spin the drill to grind through the water like the submarine. Are you sure this will work, Guillermo? Be careful out there, boss. You get into trouble, take a look at the help file. Going. Transform. Drilling underwater is pretty cool. It moves pretty slow though, especially with only one gear. Whatever, I don't need help. Once I get the next few gears, this will be moving a lot faster. It would also be really helpful if you could drill diagonal. The swimming in this game kind of reminds me of the swimming in Kirby games. But, you know, giant drill. To the right there, that just takes you out of the water at that area that I was at before. Where they called and said I couldn't get out of the water. Ah, fish! Ah, oh, okay. And look, I can get through here now. Oh, another fish! I like the way you play this game. Where I, I like the story. Where you play as like kind of a 
bad guy. Like, someone who's not a good person. Uh, it's just out of the usual, which is kind of cool. Different ideas where you're not always the good guy trying to save people. And let's go. Alright, let's go up there. Now that we can with this new drill. Ah, fish! You can also dr drill backwards, see? And it still takes you that direction. Looks like that was just a shortcut. I'm not going to attack that fish. I'm just going to avoid it. Yeah, see how the... It's moving much faster now that I have second gear. You know, that fish is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to kill it. I'm going to have to put it down. Those things will damage you if you get near them. Like that. Only if your drill touches them, not your head. So I can go right past them. Alright, fish. You can't catch me, fish. Ah, oh, damn. Fish caught me. Now it has to die. It knows who I am. So yeah, you may have also seen my new icon. My new profile picture thing. That was made by... C. Tyler Prower. And he's boxed on my page. You know, in the box there. You, can, you should go check him out. Gosh. That is not good. Alright. I didn't think I made that. You just get some money for going up here. And health. Like always. And then you destroy this wall and go for a swim. You have to get away from that until you tire it out. And then you go back and drill into its face. Until it dies. Let's see what's over here. Money. You could watch out for those mines. Or, you know, you can't, you couldn't. It doesn't really matter. The fish is tired. I gotta get to it. See if I can get past it. No, nope. no, you damn jellyfish or starfish. Sorry, I'm still thinking of jellyfish bone from my last video. Die! Shoot! Ah, all right, whatever. Yes, yeah, so, you know, swimming is a nice change of pace. I like it. Now I might as well check up out what's up there. Now it looks like it's just a different direction, and I took a shortcut by going through the purple stuff. All right, these bubbles help you travel around while underwater. Look, I'll demonstrate. Pop, and send you flying. Which can help you get around faster. And there should be currents coming up soon. Currents make it harder to travel.
Alright, back out in the outside. Let me ignore that ghost. They ain't trying to hurt nobody. Except me. Treasure. That's all that's in this room. It's treasure that I had got already. It's the stardust. Let me get out of here before those fires start coming after me. Back down. So yeah, that's where you get the stardust. Up there in that treasure chest. And here's the first current. It just takes you in a circle. Uh, whatever. Just go with the flow for now. Up here, I'm gonna need to go the other way. There we go. No. That didn't look pleasant. Down here, I'm pretty sure you get your third gear. Oh, some smooth bubble popping. And there's the third gear. Hmm. Forgot I got the third gear for a second. And now I can go against this current. That was a strong current. Only third gear could get you through that. Let's get out of this current. Oh, another starfish. Alright, starfish. Eat my drill. Let's get moving on. These brick blocks that are everywhere. I never once seen a square shaped structure, or a cube shaped structure made out of bricks in my life. But you know, they're all over the place in video games. And you have to break them and they have stuff inside them all the time. I'd love to see those though in real life, you know, just floating around from the air. Free stuff inside them. I might do that. Just go around hanging up brick cubes. People go up to them, punch them. Oh, put some candy inside it or something. I bet if you marketed that for birthday parties, pinatas shaped like cubes made of bricks, people would buy that. Everybody loves Mario. If you touch those spikes, you die. So, we need to use these bricks that fall down to get around them. 
Hey, look. Health. And money. And that should be our way out. Going down, back in the water. And look, there's a block that I'm going to be able to break now with my new drill. It doesn't look like it's blocking any. Oh, maybe that's the way through. Is that no, it just had money inside it. Alright. So yeah, to all the people watching this, there's a cool channel out there called First Union of Gamers, and they help to recognize less well-known Let's Play people, so if you do Let's Plays, I'd definitely suggest subscribing to them and doing their thing, because you get a lot of attention, and also, you know, you meet people on there who do Let's Plays that are good, and you subscribe to them. So yeah. You know, the same goes for you if you join there. People will do that to you. And my friend just got uh, recognized by them last week. They recognize a Let's Play person every week, or Let's Player. And my friend Blue Bandit, uh, 216, I think is the number that comes after it. He got recognized by them last week, and his he got 100 more subscribers since then. So yeah, I definitely suggest joining that. All right, going against the current. Let's see what's down here. Whatever. I wanted to get hit by those mines. Pretty sure this level we should be finding our boss very soon. And looks like it's right now. There's that sp that sphere again we saw before that took control of that statue. Wonder what it's gonna do this time. Bunch of fish turns into a big fish. That weird ball of light is back. It's taking control of a giant fish. I don't have to tell you which part is the weak spot, do I? Just stay under control and stay alive. All right. So this thing spews out some sort of electric energy and rocks. The rocks are what you have to hit. And the rocks will ricochet back, usually, and hit the fish in the face. And that's bad for the fish. That goes without saying. No, I said it anyway. And you have to hit it with two rocks, and it'll get pissed off and stop being a giant fish, and then you get to drill the diamond. I mean, the sphere. I'm doing a terrible job at this. That fish is just like, hey, look at all these rocks that you should drill. And I'm not taking any of them. Alright. Here it goes. The fish starts swimming back and forth and damaging you. It's hard to dodge, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. And then the diamond appears on a random spot in the screen. And you start drilling it. I think you only have to hit it three times. Maybe four.
This time it gets back on it again. And it does the same thing. I've made no effort to dodge that one. So. Boom. Eat that rock fish. Eat that rock again, fish. And it reveals the spear. I kind of wish I played this game when I was a kid. It was re It's really fun. I never played it like... I did have a Game Boy Advance SP, and I think I really would have enjoyed this if I... I don't think it was a very popular game. I never even heard of it until recently. But yeah, I would have had fun playing this as a kid. I'm having fun playing it, playing it right now. The animation in this game kind of reminds me of WarioWare. I don't know if any of you guys watching this knows that. But it definitely looks a lot like WarioWare to me. Boom. In your face, fish. Alright. This is probably not going to be the last time I have to drill it, but it might be. Ah, didn't dodge the fish this time. Up oh, one more time. And I should be done. Diamond repossesses the fish. And it's time to hit rocks at it again. I really like boss battles. They're always fun. And you know, a boss battle can make or break a game. Or, I mean, I guess not a whole game, but I mean, the boss battles in a game can make or break it. I like Metal Gear Solid series. They always have really good boss battles in that. I know I don't have a lot of people watching this, but maybe the one or two people that actually do watch this, leave a comment and tell me what your favorite boss battle in, that you've ever done is. I'd, like, I'm, I'd be interested in seeing that. Because the boss battles really are memorable, and they really do make the game for me. You, you sure took care of those freakish fish. What's it? What's that sparkling blue thing? Emerald. All right, time to get back on the truck. Is that guy like hanging on the side of the truck? The old guy looks like he is. All right. Well, let's see if there's some dialogue here. We're probably gonna talk about the diamond. Way to go, boss. You found another diamond. However, we're looking for a red diamond, not a blue or yellow one. The skulkers must have stashed it somewhere. These diamonds must hold a crazy amount of power. It made a giant stone statue come alive, and it even controlled a swarm of fish. All right. Thank you a lot for watching, and post a comment of most memorable or favorite boss battle you've ever done. And, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.